Well, no smoking signs are a common sight at colleges and universities. Uh, the rules will mainly apply to inside buildings and outside doorways, as you can just see behind me. But with legalization of marijuana just six weeks away, uh, many post-secondary schools are now um, ex rolling, um, or rather rewriting those rules to include cannabis, many even expanding the smoking ban uh, to include entire campus grounds. Now, as we continue tonight with our marijuana files, we take a look at recreation weed and a higher education. Your policy is now going to include cannabis. Our policy will now include cannabis. We thought that was the simplest way of doing it, uh, just to uh, have everything included as part of the Healthy Campus Initiative. George Brown College in downtown Toronto is one of the first in Ontario to go smoke-free, and now joints, even vaping, have been rolled into the rules. It sounds like a pot is being treated more like cigarettes than, than alcohol at this point. Well, I, I think it, it falls into the same thing about substance. Uh, we actually had a conference at the end of June, our mental health conference focused totally on cannabis this year, and we talked about anything from the benefits from a, a medical point of view to some of the challenges, especially for youth around addiction. Here's a map of the Canadian post-secondary schools that responded to City News regarding their cannabis policies. U of T and Humber in Toronto, Concordia, McGill and the University of Montreal in Quebec, Brandon in Manitoba and the University of British Columbia are outright banning pot smoking in their residences and all public spaces inside and out. Humber College is even going as far as saying growing, baking, smoking or selling cannabis on school property is prohibited. We have uh, con contracts that have to be signed by students that are moving in today in advance of legislation. Um, so we've established some new policy in our contracts about the use of, uh, of, of uh, marijuana. Um, and uh, our, the position that we've taken in our contract is we do not allow the smoking of, of, uh, of, of marijuana on, uh, in the residence facilities or on the grounds that, are, that, that residents are responsible for. When it comes to possession, the University of Toronto is treating weed like booze. It is the same policy for cannabis that applies to alcohol. So they have to be of legal age and there is no possession of cannabis or alcohol in common spaces. Enforcement, though, could be challenging. Our cameras captured cigarette smokers standing just feet away from campus doors, ignoring the numerous no smoking signs in plain sight. The students smoke pot on campus. Yes, I, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I, the kid, the kids are kids, they're going to do whatever they want, usually. And especially like when they're all stressed with school, they're just going to be like... Yeah, Is maybe. it hard to patrol? Very hard, yeah. It's, hard to it's super hard. Most schools we spoke with will be using legalization as a way to educate students as they do with alcohol. We want students to be aware of safety issues, the effects mm -hmm. of cannabis, their responsibilities, and how to seek help if they need it. Now, for information on a specific university or college's policy when it comes to pot, you can head to our website, citynews.ca.